Hi, I'm Ronnie D. Benedetta. And I'm Brandy Tobias. Welcome to Basic to Intermediate Country Two-Step. We'll be teaching you some basic patterns in Country Western Two-Step, all the way through some intermediate variations. We'll be right back. All right, let's get started. Country Western Two-Step, done in a six count basic. The way we count it is numerically one, two, three, five, holding the fourth beat and holding the sixth beat, or counting it quick, quick, slow, slow is the rhythm most of you will be familiar with. If I dance just the gentleman's footwork sideways, looks just like this. Quick, quick, slow, slow, or one, two, three, five. Important to realize is when we step on that fourth or sixth beat, we're holding that. We step one, two, three, four, five, six, or counting it the other way, quick, quick, slow, hold, slow, hold, so that we can very easily distinguish between our quick rhythms and our slow rhythms. Ladies footwork, you're gonna be starting on your right foot, dancing that same basic rhythm, quick, quick, slow, slow, or forward, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the basic structure of this dance is it moves counterclockwise around the outside of the floor. What we do is we're gonna look at our partner, face to face, nose to nose. What we do is reach right underneath the lady's arm, and let me turn Brandy this way so that you can see what we're doing. I line myself up slightly to my partner's left so that I can look straight down line of dance. I take my right hand straight to the back, right on the shoulder blade there. Wrap those fingers around in a nice, closed, tight hand there. Ladies, you're gonna plant that hand just like that. Ladies, it's very important that you don't rest your arm weight on the man's arm, because you'll start to feel very heavy. So you'll notice that if Ronnie were to drop his arm, mine would remain unchanged. So I'm holding up my own frame. Cool. What we do from there is we're gonna now attach the left hand. I wanna high five my partner, roll my finger slightly to the outside, wrap those fingers around and bring that hand down to the lady's eye level. Hand an equal distance away from both of us right in the middle of the partnership. Now it's very important gentlemen that you don't feel like you're squeezing. There's no need to hold on to your partner too tight. She should feel that you're there but she shouldn't feel any pressure. So as we start to move you just have to move yourself and she should move right along with you. So if we dance our basic together this is what it'll look like. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Ladies, you'll notice that as I'm moving backward, I do roll all the way to the heel, but I do it by landing on the toe first and straightening the leg as I move my weight over it. So even as I'm moving backward, my weight still stays forward over the balls of my feet, but I'm not up on my toes. So my basic moving backward looks like this. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. So let's take a look at that basic together again. Gentlemen, making sure that you're stepping on the ball of your foot, not the heel, sliding straight out. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. One thing to keep in mind, once we locked ourselves into our frame where my, left, my right hand was around her back and my left hand was up, notice that I keep my framework nice and tight and nothing moves, just our feet. As we get into some more intermediate patterns, we're gonna be working on our leads and our preps and we wanna keep those hands nice and calm before we do that. Guys, you can think of it almost like this is our form of communication and if there's a bunch of static on the line, the lady's gonna have a hard time hearing you when you go to lead something later. So the more still and quiet your frame is, the easier the lead is gonna be later on. As far as the basic structure of the dance, when we talk about line of dance, always realize that we mean moving counterclockwise around the outside of the room. That stays consistent no matter where you go out to dance, so you're always going to be moving around that line of dance. So here's our basic one more time. Quick, quick, slow, slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. One thing that we haven't talked about yet is my footwork as we're dancing. Remember we lined ourselves up nose to nose with our partner. We set ourselves slightly off to the outside of the floor. If we set ourselves too far to the outside of the floor and we start dancing, our first quick is no problem. But our next quick is right in line with the lady's feet. 
So we'll have to start separating our footwork. If we keep that a little bit tighter and stay nose to nose with our partner, again, set yourself up just a little bit so that you can look right past your partner. As I move my first step, my next step goes right in between her feet, tracking my feet, if you will, so that I don't have to separate my feet to step around her. So nice, smooth footwork, stepping right through. Quick, quick, slow, slow. That's our basic rhythm, timing, and structure of the dance. We'll be right back to talk about some inside and outside turns for you.